Hey, what's going on YouTube? UA Reviews here, and today I have an update review on the Under Armour Spine RPM running shoes. Okay, so I got these uh, back in August of 2012. Uh, it's been a couple months now, and I figured it's uh, about time to do an update on these and just kind of show you uh, some things that I liked and some things that uh, kind of didn't go well with these shoes. Um, so we're going to jump right in, just show you some things that have uh, definitely worn down, uh, some things that have held up, um, and then just overall give you my opinion on them from uh, the first time I reviewed them uh, which your opinion on them can change definitely uh, if you wear them a lot and then you've used them and then something goes wrong um, then you might have something different to say about them but uh, with me um, overall just to start out I think they did hold, they did hold up very well um, they're just are and I'll notice and I'll show you there are just a few minor things that had just kind of uh, went wrong on these. Um, something, and there are some big things they can improve on on these, and I'll show you that as well. Um, overall, looking at the uh, structure of the shoe, uh, it's definitely held its shape really well. Um, although there are a few creases right here from just overall wear. Um, and one thing I want to point out right now is you're going to see this uh, little tear on the shoe, and I'm going to tell you a little story how that happened. Uh, I was just walking to class one day. Um, you know, just and I, and I and and where I live, there's not a sidewalk, so I walk in the grass, um, and somehow like a stick caught on the side of it, and it just uh, it ripped the shoe there, and uh, I was kind of and I was very disappointed when that happened. Um, wasn't happy about that, um, but you know, it's nothing that's uh, kept the shoe from perf from uh, performing how it has. You can kind of see how the shoe dips down there. Uh, like I said, it's these have been worn very heavily. Um, there is a good amount of wear on these shoes um like i said but you know on the other shoe you can kind of tell it's kind of warp in the same way um you know just a few minor things that's just from a lot of use um what really held up about these um was their overall stability you know they didn't uh the ankles didn't sink down uh these are a good mid shoe um especially for a, a bigger person like me um you know that you know still runs pretty hard and when i run i go through shoes pretty quick uh just because uh the amount of force that's you know just put on the shoes um you know overall the shoes you know they've held up really well but i'm going to show you kind of what i didn't like was uh the bottom part of the shoe the soles um there is not a bit of grip on these left they're just um they're flat they're smooth and when I first got them, there was a, a, a solid amount of grip on these. And as you, you can tell there, uh, that the little black part there, that used to be gray. That's worn off. Um, they just feel way too smooth to be a good running shoe. I tried to play basketball on these. It's not a good thing. Don't want to roll your ankle that way. Um, so, and they're not basketball shoes by any means. But, um, you know, I think for one thing... Uh, in the spine shoes, they do need to improve the um, overall grip of the shoe because I was using these um, lifting, running, and you know, you just need a little more. And they start out as a really good shoe, but then, like I said, they just kind of, um, they kind of, the sole of them just kind of wore out real quick on the bottom here. And uh, you can see there, it's just kind of um, starting to wear away. But, um, I, it's it's you know right now it's kind of hard to run in these quite a bit just because after a while my feet start to hurt so I kind of had to switch to my newer shoes that I've got um, you know what can I say I think that these uh, could have held up a lot better you know if they do come out with any updated versions of the spine running shoes they may uh, be able to stand up these were the first versions that came out so if they do come out with any in 2013 that are any better I would definitely hope that they see if they fix the uh, you know get a little more grip on the bottom of the shoe um, overall stability wise these are still a great pair of shoes um, training and uh, running in not long distance but um, just for short training distance like what I've been doing um, so overall they're all right just kind of uh, be cautious on uh, how hard you use these because I used them quite a bit and they wore out pretty quick so hope you guys have enjoyed this update review um, if you have any more questions, I got a lot of questions in the uh, first review of this I did, so if you guys have any more you want answered, uh, leave, a, leave them in the uh, comments down below. So, subscribe, 
Uh, check out my other videos, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.